All right, it is Friday, May 17th, 2019 at 1.49 p.m. Let's take a look quickly at the weather here. All right, this is the National Hurricane Center, and the Atlantic looks clear. Tropical cyclone activity is not expected during the next 48 hours. Let's take a look at the Eastern North Pacific. The Pacific looks calm. Tropical cyclone activity is not expected during the next 48 hours. And the Central Pacific out in Hawaii, tropical cyclone activity is not expected during the next 48 hours. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery. Right now there are some storms going along the equatorial line off of South America. And this is where usually storms pop up and start heading towards either Mexico area or to the Hawaiian area. This is, this is the area where the storms usually start when hurricane season starts. So it is always great to keep an eye on this region. Right now, no storms seem to be turning into anything major. All right, let's take a look at the full Atlantic. We see here off the coast of Africa, some rainstorms happening, but nothing really serious. Most of the uh, jet stream is going towards the east northeast here, coming off the United States. So nothing should be heading towards the United States. Nothing seems to be building up. All right, let's take a look at the full screen radar. Right now, there's some rain happening in the Seattle, Washington area in parts of Idaho, parts of Montana, parts of Nebraska, and the southern part of, of uh, Minnesota, parts of Boston and New York getting some rain. All right, this is the Saharan dust layer. So pretty much is Saharan dust coming off of Africa and it seems to be going across the Atlantic and headed for South America. So it's not uh, affecting us or heading towards the United States in any way or the Caribbean. All right, this is the Storm Prediction Center, day one convective outlook for May 17, 2019. Texas having enhanced uh, some larger population centers for risk area for Texas, Abilene, Texas, San Angelo, Texas, North Platte, Nebraska, Big Spring, Texas, uh, Norfolk. So pretty much those areas right here in Texas, uh, also um, parts of the Midwest and slight marginal risk for the East Coast. All right, so let's keep an eye on that. Next, here are the current temperatures. It is pretty much a 70s, 80s wave for the middle of the United States, for the Colorado, all the way into the Colorado, Nebraska region, and for the East Coast, pretty much 80s for Florida, for Georgia, for South Carolina, and 79, almost 80 for North Carolina. Texas in 70s, uh, 76, 77 on the on the western side, and 80s in the Houston area, 85. All right, let's take a look at Dabu saying, "This is how it all starts." You see a little disturbance here in the Atlantic, with a 30% chance of development. And this is how it all starts. Well, pretty much, we're just keeping an eye out for the storms before the the hurricane season. And hopefully it isn't how it all starts. But, you know, you never know how early a season is, you know, um, is going to be, how, you know, strong the storms are going to be. So it's always great to look and see how early things are coming off the Atlantic and in the Pacific. Alright guys, see you guys next time. Hit like and subscribe for more news. God bless.